Hello, I'm Sirius Trivia, and welcome back to another episode of our Liu Bei Let's Play. Uh, we'll pick it back up uh, for episode 19 uh, from turn 98 in the winter of 209. Uh, last episode, we uh, turned the tide uh, basically up north. We finished up uh, most of Gongsun Zan's armies. We now have two full army groups uh, about to crush his last uh, three remaining uh, cities. And then we have a new army over here, uh, led by Zhuge Liang and Liu Bei. Uh, we managed to uh, re redeploy Liu Bei again after uh, the loss he suffered uh, around the same area uh, against Xu Chu, right outside of Bohai Fishing Port. So he's back. Uh, Zhuge Liang has taken over the two level 10 tribuches from Ren An, uh, who we recruited uh, after Mi Zhu's death. Uh, we picked Ren An because he was 81 at the time. And at 85, uh, he passed away, so we were able to pass on the uh, units to Zhuge Liang, which is what we kind of wanted to do anyways. Uh, Han Fu has a small force uh, laying siege to our salt mines. Uh, after this turn's replenishment, uh, our army should be at least uh, near full strength. Uh, a few of these not really, but we'll start heading down towards him. Uh, it's probably take us another turn, giving us a little bit more time to replenish along the way. Uh, this would be an easy issue to resolve. And then we can swing it across and start fighting uh, Yuan Xi again. Uh, in Dong, we set up a defensive force to deter any uh, forces from Yuan Xi that might be thinking about crossing the river. Guan Yu has just taken care of two full stacks from Dong Min, uh, who we're also at war with. Yeah, we're at war with everybody. Um, and we'll be turning this army up north into Yuan Xi's land. Uh, now we'll have full, uh, like four full army group in the north uh, sweeping across. Uh, our goal is to ultimately unite this entire uh, northern territory that's uh, defined by this border created by the Yellow River. Uh, our first goal is just to clear out Gongsun Zan, Yuan Xi, and Zhang Yan, uh, which will probably get us here to the Black Mountains. And then we'll sweep across uh, eventually into uh, this area and bring us into conflict with Dong Min as well as the Western Coalition over here. Uh, to the south is a little bit interesting. Uh, we have been trying to improve relationship with Liu Biao. Uh, we sold him Chen to really resolve our food issue. Uh, we don't have forces down here, so it is dangerous. But this, a lot of this land, um, although we have heavily developed it, uh, I feel is um, optional to defend. Uh, we're really trying to establish a very safe base in the north to set us up for uh, our in eventual, uh, as we reach king, basically. Uh, we're currently duke. Uh, we're making good headway into king. Uh, we don't want to hit this that fast because the instant we hit this, uh, we'll go into the three kingdom era and you have three, uh, the, the three strongest uh, factions all declare king at the same time and be in a permanent state of war with each other and we're not ready to contend there so as we gain more prestige by conquering these new land we have to be careful that it doesn't push us into kingship and some of the option we can do is start selling or giving off some of these land uh, to our neighbors down south uh, to buy peace and also to buy us time uh, to firmly establish a base up north before we turn to king this will make our end game a lot smoother. Uh, right now, from uh, what I see, I think that you know a lot of this territory isn't that great to begin with. And even though the north is not the best um, in terms of uh, commanderies, those would be in the south, uh, we'll have to make do and try to make them as efficient as possible. Okay, so let's turn back and take care of whatever issues remaining on this turn, and then we'll head off to the next turn, uh, where we'll be finishing off most of Gongsun Zan. Uh, friendship lost? But okay, so they lost a battle friendship. They haven't been in the same army for a while. Uh, Beihai, yeah. So most of the cities south of the Yellow River, we will be holding back into fully developing them. Uh, Pigyuan's under siege, that's fine. Yinchuan is our food town. Yeah, so most of these we're not gonna touch. Uh, and then we'll be going to the next turn.
Oh, there's Lu Bu. Lu Bu is fighting Yuan Shu. Okay, so they kind of smell the army coming to help, and they're gonna try to take on the city right now after depleting them uh, from attrition for a turn or two. Uh, we'll take this fight. I'm not sure we can win this. Uh, the AI clearly doesn't think we can, uh, but we'll be guaranteed to inflict heavy uh, casualties on them. All right, let's take a look at where they're attacking us from. Okay, they're actually really smart. Uh, they concentrated all their forces at the gate that has been demolished. Um, so from what I... Uh, I mean, this is the first game... Uh, first, not game, but like first load I played after the new patch that went live today. So they claim the AI has gotten smarter, uh, especially involving arrow towers. So we'll see about that. Uh, I think our plan is actually to pull everyone out of here. There's no point defending this that has no arrow tower. That's our main advantage. So we'll let them rush in. Uh, we'll keep everyone together and we'll go over here. We'll run our guys over here into this uh, forest area, forcing them to go in and come out. And then assuming, I don't know which arrow tower they'll come out from, we'll plan out how we're gonna move our army so that the arrow tower somewhere will do the damage. Uh, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, to make this a little bit more efficient, I'm gonna st stack them so they're all closer to the door. This is a uh, someone screen fire in a theater moment. Run! You know, if they decide to not go in and come across like this, that's welcome too. You know, along the way they'll get shot at. Uh, we pick this uh, foresty area just because. Uh, uh, they'll reduce the vision, uh, they might not see us in there, we could play hide and seek, and also uh, if they do see us uh, and they do fire at us with those crossbowmen and archers, we'll be able to have 25% range resistance in the forest. Although if they have fire shots on the archers, then uh, it might be another story. Uh, let's just hope. Uh, that guy is level 4, so fire shot is definitely, po uh, definitely possible. He has um, uh, Wisdom of the River, which is the leftmost skill, the one right below um, the uh, fire arrows. So most likely he has fire arrows. Uh, so we gotta be careful there. Yeah, they're probably gonna march in and take this flag. I think that's what most AI do. And then I read the patch notes. I think they now come out of the town to hunt you down, which they used to not do. Like once they take the town, even if it's empty, they are happy to stay there. Um, This is snow, so movement's slow. So I might cut out a lot of the moving parts and just cut to the action because, you know, given the, the snow, it's minus 25 speed. It takes them forever to go in, come out, and find me. And it's taking me forever just to leave that door. I think that also has to do with me clumping them. But, you know, yeah, they're a little clumped. Yeah, I'll probably cut it here and let you guys see what uh, eventual battle we fight. Uh, yeah, see you guys there. All right, we're back, uh, kind of given up on the plan of taking over that forest. Um, I'm kind of afraid of the fire arrows. So uh, we actually lined everyone up at the door. So we're fighting like an inverse battle where they're trying to come out of the door and we're trying to stuff them inside the door. I turned off auto fire because I want to focus down their archers first. Um, I lined up my uh, saber infantry with 50% range block chance, which is my highest uh, range block chance in the front just to absorb a little bit of the arrow damage from their archers, and especially the crossbowman who has longer range than my archers. I'm just gonna wait for uh, them to get close to my range and focus fire down whatever is the biggest threat. Uh, right now it's that uh, cavalry unit. And we're gonna hope just because of the timing delays that they have, getting all this unit close to us, that we're able to pick them off one by one, at least do maximum amount of damage we can. Um, the generals are coming out, which is uh, kind of bad. Uh, I'll be microing most of these units uh, myself. I won't use any of the skirmish mode or fire will. Um, yes, so those, those, those are shattered. Let's now focus on the G Militia, who's the next weakest. These are just uh, acting as sponges to absorb uh, arrow damage. These guys will, will, will pull the archers back as people get closer. Okay. We gotta 
send them. So I think they also nerfed the collision damage on a lot of the units. So we'll pull these guys back a little bit. And then we'll use our um, infantry to um, kill their generals, which should work. Um, the melee attack against generals who are caught inside of a melee uh, group is actually really strong. So we just gotta pull our archers back a little bit, just continue shooting. Uh, it's taking them a while to come out. So uh, the team militia is also kind of shattering. Uh, once the archers, their archers run out of ammo, uh, it'd be fine. We just gotta pull these two, these guys separately. They're kind of slow. Gotta get these guys to start shooting as much as possible. Uh, before they kind of uh, come out, we're gonna charge in at them. Uh, if you're worried about arrow towers that they capture, arrow towers don't shoot at you. Uh, they can only shoot at enemies. Even if they capture it, it doesn't like start shooting at uh, your your troops. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, they are really persistent against these troops. So pull them forward. Fire at... Uh... Yeah, I'm not firing their um, archers. I'm just going to let their archers run out of ammo. That's kind of the goal here. It's having a hard time killing Hanfu with three groups. Really sad. Uh, I have one group here fighting her. I can't select it. It's kind of annoying. Okay, here we go. So these guys come here. Now as we run out of arrows, that's going to be another issue. Uh, switch targets. 50%. Um, these are peasant band. Okay, so they don't actually have... Um, block chance either, so that's fine. Okay, you ran out of ammo, you can come help. These guys are doing great holding that down. Hanfu is losing health, but he's he's slippery. You gotta keep selecting it to surround the guy. Yeah, he's charging back, which is unfortunate. Let's get in front of the group. Okay, these can come. Yeah, we're doing great. Um, we're doing. I don't know if we'll win this because of the generals, but at least we're inflicting inflicting great amount of damage. All right, these guys can go plug in that hole now because um, these, those other guys are routing. I feel like with these archers, even though they do very low damage, we're just trying to be uh, really pesky and kill her with just you know small amount of mosquito bites, basically. Uh, these guys. Fire at the not spear guard, not spear guard. Uh, peasantry, peasant band. Those have no. Um, right, everyone just kill her. Okay, we got these regrouped. Got line them up, give them a little distance. Archers doing their job. Their archers are running out of arrow. Crossbow men still have some shots, but it's not a big deal. So if we can just push back this group, they're gonna be just archers. So this will be fine. We'll let them recover. We'll come help. Alright, we got her. She gotta die now. She only has 6,000 health. Yeah. Generals have a hard time in this group. They, they, they're killing more people, but you know, they can't kill this many people. And I, I haven't tested against my generals where the charge damage really been nerfed significantly. But it seems like they nerfed the charge damage. Alright, we're gonna shoot at the Saber guys because those are the strong ones in combat. All right, Saber does uh, 22 and 6. Well, that's not that strong. Actually, spear guards might be stronger. All right, we'll try to shatter that with our last unit. All right, okay, we're we're all out of ammo. We'll line it up. All right, she's gone. We're not gonna chase her. What we're gonna do though is uh, stand our ground here. Actually, they don't have any cavalry. We'll just run to this side. That way, they follow us this way, we'll have these guys covering us once we get past this point. And that's gonna help out a lot in this battle, especially against those generals. We can't just utilize, you know, four groups to try to fight one generals. Alright, everyone's gotta run. It's hard to run, I know. It's hard for them to run too, that's the good news. Um, all they have are these uh, archer units as melee. These three are all extremely weak in melee. That's their strong melee one, uh, their spear guards. Um, Saber Militia, less so on the damage side against armor unit, but more so against like melee evasion. Uh, spear guard doesn't have high melee evasion, but has high armor and har high armor piercing damage, which is annoying. Uh, Hanfu is always going to be trouble. Uh, we had a hard time killing him. 
We really need to utilize these towers to our advantage. I mean, sh recovery uh, sucks that she recovered, but it's not a big deal. We just gotta get our units this way. Uh, some are too slow. Uh, no, you stay. You keep going. No, no, no! Don't, don't, don't turn around. Keep moving. Keep moving this way. We'll sacrifice two groups just so we can get everyone over here. You know, if we get everyone into these range of these two groups of arrow towers, we're guaranteed to win this. All right. Sorry, guys. You guys served your purpose. Run. That should slow them down a little bit. As long as the morale holds up. Yeah, the morale's holding up okay. I mean, he's play has the most impact on morale if he runs into it, but he's just not doing it right now, so we're good there. Uh, if we just pull our group over here, they ran out of fire arrows already, so we'll be totally safe. Uh, some of our units' morale is not doing great. We gotta hide those. We don't want a massive route. Uh, 11, 23. So once this route, this wouldn't last very long either. Um, but they bought us enough time uh, to get across. Uh, we'll have the weaker archer units hide farther in the back. Although most of these have a uh, good morale because hasn't much, uh, they haven't suffered much damage. Oh, unfortunately, we left one of our captains here. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, captains are... Uh, if they stay alive, they provide more um, morale for other units under their retinue. So that, that kind of sucks. So these guys come over here. Yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, once they get in range, yep, we'll start uh, telling the arrow tower to start shooting their generals. We need to kill their generals. That's basically what we need to do. Okay, this group right here, guide them to run this way. Run. I don't know if you'll make it. The morale might not, like, they might not be able to handle the morale loss. But they just need to buy us some time. Yeah, that morale is gone. This morale is holding up surprisingly well. Is it because it's, that's the captain unit? Yeah, that's the captain unit, yeah. So we'll buy us a little bit more time. Apparently, we're not actually hitting them. Oh, we are hitting him. He was 9.6. Yeah, it does like 1.1 per hit, which is pretty significant. I just gotta uh, manually let them hit the hit the generals. Those are your biggest concern. All right, this guy can make it somewhere. It'd be great for us. Uh, buy us a little bit more time. Is Han Fu in range? Yes, Han Fu is in range. All right, we gotta kill Han Fu. That's the goal. You can do it. I believe in you. So now we're, we're forcing them to come to us through this entire range of the uh, arrow tower without them trying to get into the arrow tower. And then once we're over here, this arrow tower can also help us. So with that overlapping damage, it's time for getting hit a little bit. Let's kill her. One less general to deal with. So this unit is now hidden. Uh, what we want to do actually is have it pop out a little bit just to force them to stall a little bit in this area. Right. Once we show, they're going to be like, okay, turn around, kill that unit, and then give us a little bit more time to shoot at their generals. This morale can actually recover. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Alright, we're still hidden. Show up a little bit more. I'm not hitting her. They're, they're now in the forest now. Okay, it's okay. They'll come out. And we'll just got to auto-select them when they come out. Um, seems like we should just pull these guys farther back. You know, it's a lot of marching for them, but we gotta just get them through these um, arrow towers, and then we'll be fine. We'll get everyone to be pulling over here. All right, let's get them back to shooting them. See, but they were getting shot. They went to lose formation. We gotta just get them to shoot the generals, and then we'll be set. She disappeared again, so shoot another general. So he lost a lot. He was at like 12k. Now he's only 8k. So we just keep firing away. Yeah, that morale is a little too low. If 
any way we can kill them would be great. Any one of them. All right, see, we're get, we're gonna get them into. All right, perfect. The arrow tower is doing damage. If they're smart, they might come into it. All right, she's she's out of she's out for the count again. Well, they're all out for the count. Okay, see, we won this, just by outmaneuvering their forces, despite having a broken arrow tower. So, yep, that worked. All right, so we won that. Uh, heroic victory. Uh, we lost the even 400 number. We even captured one of their generals. Oh, that's funny. Uh, she won't let us uh, recruit her. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna execute. Um, there's no point to replenish. It would plunge on its own. This force is not going to come back to threaten us at all. So we will just take the... We actually don't need unity. We're full unity. 400 gold. Yeah, we don't need any of this. But I guess if in that case, we'll take the replenishment. So the key of that, that type of fight is you want to maximize every arrow from your archers and every arrow from your arrow towers. So you want to keep your archers safe and high morale so they get to use all of their arrows. And then at that point, you just got to try to find a way to maximize your um, arrow towers. Okay, so Dong Min has uh, been replaced by Lu Bu. Uh, did we actually execute Dong Min in that fight with Guan Yu? I don't know. Did we kill him? Is that the reason why he uh, switched over? It seems like a little delay. We'll see. Uh, request the Gongsun Nun to join a war with them. They're in the same coalition? Oh yeah, I think so. I think they joined. It doesn't matter. Uh, our ex-wife gained understanding. That is great to know. Um, okay, we've got a few appointments to deal with. Assignments. Um, and mainly we're going to focus on wiping out uh, Gongsun Zan here in this episode. Uh, let's fix that up. They've done a great job. That army has kind of disappeared. Uh, this way we don't have to rush this. We can take advantage of the mustering 10% uh, and just uh, hang out here until we're fully uh, replenished and then we'll swing across and be the attack force down here. Uh, this is Zhao Yun and Zhang Fei's army. Very impressive. They can't reach anywhere. That's a problem. Does he have reach? He doesn't. Okay, this is... Okay, Zhang Fei almost has reach. One more level. Oh, almost leveled up to a few battles. So Zhang Fei will grab reach and Zhang Fei will lead this army. Uh, meanwhile, your benefit for leading army, fire rate, enemies, military supply, attrition, morale, morale, morale. Okay. I mean, it's okay to let him uh, lead. It's not the end of the world. The fire rate is important because we rely heavily on our range units. So let's just take a peek, I guess. Let's just see where his army might be. We could ambush here, but 45% is not worth it. Okay, so Xu Chu is replenishing over here. We'll cut this replenishment short next turn. Okay, so this is the army that beat us up over there and retreated back. Okay, so these should be like not defended at all. I don't think they have more stacks. Although, you know what I question? Oh, I like. Okay, you know what I question? Where has Gongsun Zan been all this time? He's been at court. Why hasn't he been on the field? He's actually a strong vanguard. Okay, we'll crush this army in Yeojo. Uh, we'll just take the fight directly to them. This is a small city, so there's no walls. Oh, there, oh there's walls, but uh, there's just it's not that well designed. Um, I don't think I'll be utilizing any infinite siege or anything. I can take this in one battle. They only have three, six range units. If I'm able to spread them out a little bit by how I deploy and then uh, wipe them out uh, separately, once we kill the range units, we can fully utilize our crossbowmen and archers. We have a lot of range units in this army, so we'll be fine. So let's just jump into here. All right, we're gonna set up siege here. Uh, first, we gotta find where is the best uh, point to attack. It is raining, which hampers the effectiveness of our flaming shots. 
Um, seems like this might be the best. You take out these two. And we can come into this part of the wall. No, we can't. <laughs> I lied. Um, so I guess this might be the best. You take out these three arrow tower, these two arrow tower, and this uh, fort tower, and then we can ignore that and pop a hole here and come in, and then it has pretty easy access to the center of the city without going through any uh, potential arrow towers. So, oh, we don't have flaming shot. Uh, what am I talking about then? This is, oh, no, we're not, that's too close. Right here. Okay, so that's as close as we can get uh, before getting shot at. So we're gonna stay here, take out these, take off fire will. Crossbowmen. Oh, there's also been, um, been a change uh, where regular arrows can no longer destroy tribuchets. Uh, I had problems before where I line tribuchets uh, in the middle and then have archers like that and like this. And then like when as they were shooting, they were destroying my own tribuchets. I wonder if that patch fixes that, uh, but we're not going to be testing it uh, today. Uh, that's good. Uh, so what we want to do is when we do go in, it's going to be led by our cavalry, right? That's our assault force. These guys are actually useless during the assault because you can't keep them in shield formation and move them like you can in turtle and they still take damage. So what we're going to do is going to spread them out pretty evenly uh, along the other gates so that the enemy AI will deploy archer at all these gates. They only have six units of archer. So if they spread out a few units that opens up how many we have to kill at the front. Uh, if we only had to kill like two units and then we can charge our, our archers in to wipe out their infantry then charge our cavalry in it doesn't matter if they have a couple here guarding these because they can't turn out and help out fast enough that's how you thin out their forces on offense uh, by faking them out with uh, attack forces that you're not going to use at different gates and then we will start sieging so you see you see they they spread out two archer units some infantry unit oh they spread out pretty evenly so at the front what we're faced with is two archer unit kind of like what we predicted and even less uh, infantry unit so first we'll we'll start with taking out the arrow towers hope for high i mean we don't even do micro this because when it gets destroyed they'll stop they'll stop shooting okay, level 10 is amazing one shot okay we're walking forward a little bit that should be okay once we take this out yeah, they stop shooting at like walls and arrow towers once they get destroyed because we are not trying to set it ablaze to 50%. We actually do want to just destroy them. So we just... Oh, so much for talk at level 10. I think one one rock connected out of 8. Maybe 2. 27%, maybe 2. Okay, 3 volleys. That's fine. That one took 1 volley, which was surprising. And then we'll take care of wherever, whatever part of the wall the archers end up being on, we'll take care of that part of the wall. It has to be between here and here though. Actually between here and here. Okay, we still have 10 shots. That's enough to kill the archers. Yeah, take out this as well. Yeah. Although they're level 10, she's lacking. She needs to get level, like more levels so we can get flaming shot. You know, in between the episodes, I decided I'm not going to marry her off. She is the mom of our three kids. Uh, we'll just assume that we have two wives, which is how it really works in China. Uh, back in the days, not now. Now you can't even have, you know, three children, three children so two wives. Oh, come on, 10%. I should probably stop, stop one of them from volleying. Alright, we finished those. This guy is running to help another gate, which is totally fine with us. We gotta save some shots to take out of a hole in the wall here, but we can first kill some archers. Yeah, I think they're all standing pretty close to here. So taking out this section of the wall should kill most of them. 50%, okay. Oh, the door opened. It doesn't matter, we can't go through there. The arrow tower is going to hit us. This is the shot. Perfect! Alright, we killed over half of those. That's good enough. 
Uh, then we need to create a hole over here. Uh, these guys has no range block chance. These guys do, so we're gonna kill off more of these guys. That's the goal here. Yeah, it's all about maximizing your range units how most efficiently. Yeah, G Militia's weakness is they just get obliterated by uh, archers. Uh, we have plenty of those. Oh, come on. Get it before they run out of range. Ah, oh, it's too late. Yeah, barely- oh, 69. Yep. <laughs> barely killed those. Uh, there's a few archers here that we can't reach. Uh, with our crossbowmen, they'd be too close, I guess. Um, let's see what we can do here. The archer- the swordman's still here, so let's just tear this hole up a little bigger with our remaining shots. There's three shots. It definitely get us another hole. Actually, we can stop one of them from shooting. That way we can get two holes, right? We technically have six shots, so three sets of shots can get us a hole. There's no point to use four. Yeah. Now we have... Oh, we still have five shots. Okay. We still have plenty of shots. Um, happy with the amount of holes we have for the assault. We have to kill this archer group somehow. Uh, it'd be best if we kill them with our um, trebuchets right here. Actually, this might be what we're gonna do. Cause those guys, yeah, 42. Not such a big threat. If we can kill these guys, it'd be nice. We'll get our crossbowmen ready. Right. This one still has one shot. Perfect. So we're gonna do it with one shot. Um. Wait, he has 42 units here? I only see one unit. Is it because of fog of war that I can't see all of them, or are they somewhere on the wall? Um, we're gonna pound the... I mean, those are not saber cavalries. Oh, so yeah, here's the rest of them. The archers are... I think some are still stuck on the wall, some are down there. There's really nothing good to hit. Those we can take care of. Maybe we'll try to destroy this barricade a little bit more. Just, but we can always go this way. There's no reason to shoot that, unless the archers get close, and then we'll try to shoot the archers. Yeah, uh, trying to find. Out. Yeah, okay. Let's just shoot the archers then. We we'll do this. If it hits the barricade, hits the barricade, hits them, it hits them. If it hits in between them, then just unlucky. I'll hit the wall here and in between. Okay, pretty unlucky. All right, let's get our guys close. Their main job is to kill their archers because you outrange them. So gotta come this way, I guess, a little bit. These guys are done. Go rest in the forest. These guys can get close. They're gonna clear up the doorway for our assault. Um, where are they going? Are they going on top of the wall? Well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna fire away at them. Yeah, we'll be fine. Let's speed this up a little bit. Walking too slowly. They're not... They're, mainly I just gotta make sure they're safe from these guys. Cause these guys outrange them, so they can't fire back. So we're just gonna waste some arrows to try to kill them off the wall. Uh, we just gotta kill enough to shatter them. I feel like they lost so many already. Their morale's holding up surprisingly well. Okay, they're moving we stop firing. No point to waste ammo against a moving target. Okay, they're back. Fire again. And they're on the run again. Coming back. Yeah, it's hilarious. Oh, they're, they're on the ground. Okay. If you're on the ground, then a lot of you will die. Wow, the morale is so high. Okay, I'm gonna assume those guys are harmless now with only 10 men. Two men, okay. Yeah, we're gonna ignore those. Alright, I'm gonna start assaulting the door here. They can get ready. Alright, bomb away. It's 
not the most efficient thing hitting these uh, units on top of the wall, but we have to kill them anyways because they are going to be the biggest enemy to our cavalry unit when they rush in. So we'll just fire them a bit so they leave the wall so we get an easier time shooting at them when they're under... Like they left the best position for them to go to the worst position for them. See now we're tearing them up. Okay, we're slowly running out of ammo. He is trying to go ahead. All right, those two shattered. Two archers on the way back. We'll kill those two archers, I guess. Waste of ammo, but... All right, that's a good Wally. Wally died. <laughs> Raced them. Okay, now we gotta wipe out this, this group right here. I believe they'll shatter. Yep. Okay, so we have two units with shots left. Uh, we'll kill the ones without... Um, Range block chance first. Alright, they're out of range. We'll kill the ones with range block chance. Alright, everyone's out of arrows. Come back, come back. Relax. You guys did your job. Uh, two of these have fire arrows. Although they don't uh, work damage wise, they do hurt morale, so we're still gonna use that. Even in the rain. Uh, we can largely ignore the sword and uh, uh, Axe Band because uh, our cavalry has no problem killing those. We just gotta kill off these uh, cavalry units real quick. Ooh, the wall is really helping them. Mainly killing the Lance one because one, they're easier to hit with archers and two, uh, they do more to our cavalry. We're gonna kill these spear guards as they come closer. Alright, basically each unit kills the one that the next uh, longest range you have uh, is scared of. So our trebuchet killed off the archers and the towers, and our uh, archers will kill off the spearmen, and then our cavalry kill off the rest. It's like rock, paper, scissor. Mm. They're coming, we'll wait for them. I mean, if they're not committed to come close, it's fine. Uh, these that are coming closer, we're gonna kill off. Plus, they're easy to kill off. And they're the captain unit. Just notice, they're the, the captain unit of the garrison. So we'll definitely wipe them. And because they're all running together, we'll get some splash damage on the, on the cavalry too. Which is great. Okay. Perfect. All right, we kill those, we wipe those. We just want to make sure they completely shatter. We don't want them to come back. Yeah, that shattered. Cavalry. Okay, we got a problem with you running out of arrows. Ooh, they lined up perfectly. Uh, kill the cavalry. This archer group's coming. Uh, who's our strongest general that can duel here? Yeah, we could get a duel off just to kill off a couple people. Yeah, he might be able to fight someone. Oh, he's out of range. Come back, come back. I don't know if we can fight her. She has the right skills. Hmm. Alright, our range units are done. Basically, it's our cavalry show now. Those archers are getting close, so maybe we'll just charge in. Okay, maybe normal speed. <laughs> Might take some of my memory. <laughs> Alright, now 
Level four. Yeah, but you're kind of weak. We'll occupy. We'll occupy him as the rest of these wipe these out. Yeah, the spearmen's on their way, but we can't ignore him. I think he can win. He has a lot of different buffs, uh, mainly high melee evasion. So at least we can keep him around for a little bit. Come on. Gotta run through these units. Um, they did say they nerfed uh, collision damage, also give medium infantry more mass to withstand, to withstand charges. Okay, okay. We're not gonna charge those. Alright, we wipe those two. Perfect. Then we wipe this group right here. We don't need to duel him. We can just uh, try to kill him with our units. Come on, shatter. Okay, perfect. Now get a good charge off on the infantry. It's not a very good charge. He has, he has two units, but he has full morale. Oh, we're losing here. We'll see. Hopefully he'll win. If not, we'll just have to make him run away. That's embarrassing, man. You're level 5. I guess he's level 4. They're still losing health at the same rate, that's the problem. Right, you're supposed to be able to... Now you're not even losing health at the same rate, you're losing health worse. So. You can run. We'll, we'll kill this one. And then we'll go fight her with the masses. Uh, I don't know if I should kill him. I could just let him route. There might be some, uh, you know, oath swarm mechanics or family mechanics going on that I'm not aware of. Oh no, he's gonna die if he goes that way. Oh, ouch, 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 that's gonna hurt. Go this way. Yeah, 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 okay. Thank you, AI. Alright, let's see how much damage we can do to her. She's leading us to the towers. We're not going that way. We are going for the middle. For that victory. Oh, no, no. Stupid AI. Gotta path it myself. Okay. Uh, capture this point right here. We're not, we're not charging into those spearmen. Why are we going so close to the spearmen? Alright, you can charge into the spearmen. And then you guys can charge. Oh no, that still got wiped. Okay, this hurt. Alright, I think we just gotta force our way into capturing this point. Okay, we captured it. Now charge back well, before we get shot and killed. That was a little misplay, I think. Mm, it's not going well. We gotta get everyone out. New plan, new plan. Yeah. That was a little dumb. I don't know why I did that. That charge into that experiment. Big no no. Oh wow. Well, now she's pissed. Right, Fallen Oathorn? Out of control. So I can't really control her. Is there no capture point for these towers? Okay, we gotta take it slow then. Let's capture this. I don't know. What can we do? We gotta kill these. But we don't want to fight here because of that. Let's just kill him. That's the solution, I guess. 
We're also running out of time. These guys are worthless in combat. There's no point to have them even come to fight. Hmm, we have all these axe bands, but it takes forever for them to go through this safe exit. Alright, we'll just kill him and see what happens. Basically, their morale is still pretty intact. We took it too fast. Alright, at least Datiao is still alive. That means our ex-wife died? I think so. I think that's what it means. I guess that kind of solves the dilemma of having two wives. Right, at least we could have killed him. Any anyway, worst case scenario, time's run out, it's a draw. Because we're the attacking force. Let's just kill some of their generals to pay back. Okay. Is there any other fight we can pick? Okay, we can pick a fight with him. These can go into triangle, oh, a wedge, and uh, we'll wreck that um, axeman. Uh, we should switch them out of this. This kills their armor in the fight. At least we got that unit killed. Are they just gonna brace? They're just gonna brace. Alright, they start moving. Yeah, we gotta just bait them till they move. Then we we charge in. Perfect, perfect. Alright, we gotta not let them come back, kill that off. Now we go back, try to get Shi Huan to come out fight us. I don't wanna duel. We wanna kill Morale basically. He's standing inside the stupid tower range. Yeah, right inside. So if we come here, does he come out fight us? He does? He does? Alright, okay, we murder him then. This time we're not letting him go. Okay. Alright, we killed most of them. She's still alive. I don't think I can... I mean, with only... Okay, let's slow down time. With only 4 minutes... Can I kill her? She has 28%. I'm pretty boosted. Especially after the death of Osa. Let's hope it works out. It's gotta be key here. Actually, let's just focus in on the fight. Alright. Come on, Datiel. Do or die. Cat fight. Kicking her, but we're also losing a lot of health. Oh, these spearmen come to party. Things buffing her like crazy. Tier 5, 100% base damage, 100%. I mean, the buff we got here is what's saving us. We're, we also have the same level of uh, damage buff and higher melee evasion because um, a fellow Oath Thorn has died. So I think we can win this. Let's do it. Hopefully, we win just in. In fast enough time so that we have enough time to uh, capture. Oh, she ran. She ran. Okay, then we won. Okay. Oh, that was tough. 
可知也。All right, so we captured, not captured. We, I guess we captured, but like we can't employ him. Shumin.、Uh, He's actually pretty decent. <laughs> Rebels with Daqiao. Okay, goodbye. It's the only item you have. Oh, he has three items. Two items. We、we'll、get one of them. Okay, that's fine. Oh, our wife died. Okay,、uh, that just means. Level ten tribute is going over to Pang Tong. Yep. Now we have Pang Tong and Zhuge Liang both having level ten、uh, red news. Ah,、uh, forty-six year old. I was glad you're not my heir, or else this would've been tragic. What's this symbol? Someone's sad. Someone is mad at us. Wait, Mi Heng? No, that can't be it. She's perfectly fine. Oh, Pang Tong is in the army. Ah, they don't get along. Okay. Well, that's not a big issue right now. Yeah, that's not something I'm gonna worry about. They, they're just going. This army is good enough to take out Dai next turn. Uh, Yuzhou is definitely not a farm town. I, I can understand why he was farming in it because he probably really needed food. Low fertility. Okay, so this is bad for peasantry. Uh, peasantry give military bonus.、Mm, not relevant here, I guess. Both of these gotta go. Uh, this is going to be um. Yeah,、uh, industry income town. So we're gonna start with the、uh, tax collect agency to give the ten percent discount in building, as well as some free money to go along the beginning.、Uh, trades gained.、Uh, doesn't matter what trade you gained, you died.、Uh, we were just saying you gained understanding and you passed away. I mean, a bit sad. She is the mom of. Our three kids. Well, now it looks like Dai Tiao is your mom. Look at that smile. Okay.、Uh, this army will take care of that next turn. This army will take that next turn, and then we'll be done with our war with Gong Sun Zan. Gong Sun Zan will be no more.、Uh, we have a new reform to pick.、Uh, This is interesting. We have a couple of choices. We can fight corruption, which is always good. We can head down for I don't know. This is probably not the good choice.、Uh, we can come here and get some food from fishing. We do have a lot of fishing port, and this also level five fishing port is very efficient. It uh, makes it from uh, upkeep. Uh, Building to a zero upkeep, it basically goes from like a hundred upkeep building to a zero upkeep building. It also produces a hundred commerce gold, so this is a big turning point for a fishing port. So this is an important reform,、um, but it takes two reforms. It also doubles the amount of、uh, increase fifty percent the amount of food that、um, oh twice. So it doubles the amount of food you get from fishing as well. So that is critical.、Um, this increases some gold. I think for right now I'll take the corruption because we're expanding too fast and we can't really handle it right now. And then we'll turn our attention to some of the food issues. All right, so minus corruption.、Uh, the north is taken care of. This army we're letting them going to fully replenish first. At least one more turn. One more turn can slowly march them. Two turns to march, so it'd be fine.、Uh, this army is playing defense. Guan Yu is gonna look to where to attack next.、Uh, I, as I mentioned on top of the episode, we can cut this army into the north.、Um, this essentially give us three, four full armies pushing down. That actually might be overkill. I feel like if we keep them down south and push into、uh, Sun Jian here, who is likely to attack us. First, we can. The pro is we can unite Donghai. And secondly, we can start looking into taking、uh, Guilin and Yangzhou. 
uh, basically consolidate everything north of the uh, Yangtze River. That way it gives us this giant base of operation. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start sliding him down towards Donghai. Uh, we're fully replenished, so we can actually march three turns. Okay, so three turns we'll get there, and then we can start uh, going to standard and attack. Uh, anything we need to build? I don't think so. Oh, Beihai actually. This is for um, corruption reduction. This is key. Uh, Got to build as many of these as we can. Laozi is ready building it. Pengcheng is not building it. He already has one, which is great. In Trun, uh, there's potential to upgrade in Trun, but we have maximized the amount of buildings we need for food production. So we actually don't need to do anything here. Uh, Youbei Ping. Uh, this is relatively new place we have. Um, this building is the one we want to go all the way. Okay, the assignment's on the way back, so we can't worry about that next turn. Donghai is good. Long, yeah. Yeah, we can't do anything about Long, yeah. If we are able to successfully conquer most of the north and, and peacefully exist with some of our neighbors, we could stab Koro in the back and wipe him out. Although this city is impressive, Koron likes to build tall. Level 10 city? He maxed it out with only. I guess these two both generate food. So he maxed. I mean, this is minus like 46 food. He must be low on food. Let's take a look. Yeah, he's low on food. I don't know how he's able to handle it, but he has it. Okay. Uh, that solves all our issues for this turn. Let's continue. A new army arrives. Gong Sun Zan is desperately trying to hold on. Yeah, Han Fu is running the way back. After losing that fight, we'll let him go. It's not his time yet. Okay, uh, Cao Cao was liberated by uh, Lu Bu. Okay, so they're no longer vassals. I don't know if that improves our relationship or not. Uh, Zhang Yan to join their war against. Okay, so look to the left. Do that. Okay. Liu Bao also liberated. Okay. Come on, Liu Bao. Seriously? You gonna join the coalition with Yuan Xi? Ah, Da Qiao gives birth to a son. This could be building up to a sibling rivalry. Guan Yu gets wounded. See, these events make no sense. Who made Guan Yu a moment away from death cold touch? Okay. Alright, Liu Bu has promoted our guy to a general. That's good. Wow, wow, Sima Yi. Okay. Oof. Okay, so Sima Yi's issue is that he is ambitious as heck. And at level 7, if you don't give him a good position, he's gonna dump you. Oh, we're definitely taking him, and then we're gonna give him one of our uh, faction council positions just to keep him happy. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see all the other people. Let's see the regular people. Uh, Wu Kan. I mean, if he had this skill on like a uh, strategist, it'd be better because the commerce income is great for uh, ministering, but 
Like as a vanguard, you don't gain much uh, ministering skills. Like 25% building upkeep, and that's it. That's all you get. Yeah, so that's unfortunate. Can't really utilize him like that. And we don't really need another vanguard. Uh, let's see this guy. He's 52, kind of old. Uh, not many useful skills. Nope, 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 nope. Don't need him. Uh, Fury, indecisive. That's not good. Nope. Um, Sultan. Alright, tough, cunning, concern. Those are decent. We have Huang Zhu, Huan Zhi, Guan Yu, Bi Cun, Ling. Oh, yeah, we have a bunch of guys. Okay. Yeah, you're, you don't make the cut. Guan Yu gains scarred. Okay. Gong Sha Ji An. Jinan, Jin Jinan, Jinan. I don't know. This is a weird four-character name. Okay, so plus two food. That's great. Twenty-five percent experience. That's pretty good. See, this this is this is doable. This person, like, you could hire. She's also only twenty-three, so she's also wife material. So we'll we'll take a look at her uh, more in the other screen. So we'll keep in mind that person. Yeah. Nope. Mao Xing. He has a grudge against Sun Jian. He's level 5. He's pretty high level. Wu Shi. Wu Shi. Scar. Distinguished. Superstitious. Spirit. This is, a, this is like a super, super good skill. This is like my favorite skill in the game. A trait. But. On uh, Vanguard, though, yeah, I just don't see it happening. He's also a super high level. Oh, we released him. Okay, he likes us, but it's okay. We definitely hiring Sima Yi, that's for sure. Oh, he worked for Cao Cao for a year, and then Kong Rong for a year. I guess they couldn't keep him happy. It's hard to keep Sima Yi happy. And then this girl, who's 23, yeah, we're not divorcing again. That's that's not what I'm thinking. Um, I feel like she can be around for potential wife material for someone. All right, let's see if we can marry her with I don't know who, who though. Any of the generals? No, nope, guess not. I we'll figure something out. I think I'd like. Okay, first of all, Sma Yi really needs a position. Look at that. Look at that. Plus 111, but minus 112. Okay, Sima Fang is his dad. Doesn't get along with his dad. Sima Fu is his brother. Sima Lao is his brother. You will get our grand tutor position. Or what do we need? What kind of buff do we need? Food? Character experience, industry gold, recruitment cost, peasantry gold. I guess industry gold would be actually the best for us. A lot of industry. And who doesn't he get along with? Of course, Liu Bei. Um, yeah, no problem. It's fine. All right. So that's that's what you save these positions for. You automatically reduce their desire to hire office to zero as long as they're below level eight. Uh, below level nine, I guess. Eight is fine. So now all of a sudden he's, you know, plus 100 of us because it's technically plus 107. Okay, uh, we're happy with Sma Yi over here. Uh, I do want to take a peek at his uh, army composition that he brought with us. Two horse cavalry. Interesting. He has the right skills. He has flaming shot. He has a uh, some administrator skill. Like I wouldn't have taken this if I were in charge of him. Nor this. These two are wasted skills. He still needs this one, this one, this one, and this one. This is 
So Sima Yi's uh, ultimate skill here is this skill right here. Infinite range debuff where the enemy can never use their ability. Always plus 5 seconds to the cooldown. So it's, it's, it's extremely OP. So we probably would level him like this and this. So level 9, he'll pick that up. And then we'll pick this up. Wisdom of the River is strong, but we need the extra damage. So this will be his level 10 build. So plan ahead. Uh, we don't need this sword. It does give 5 plus 5 satisfaction. We don't really need that. Yeah, we can give him uh, more cunning. And more cunning. Yeah, solid. Uh, this new girl, gotta figure out a way how to get her to marry people. Basically, you need them to be either in your ruling family. Oh, okay. So once you have someone in your council, we could have done this a long time ago if we had someone. You can invoke council. They give you a little mission. Uh, so basically, they want us to assign character to grand director. And based on what type of, uh, what class of character the the, uh, the person in the position is, like say Sima Yi here is a strategist, so you'll gain support from merchants because he's a strategist. You get 20% income from uh, commerce, 20% uh, trade influence, and 5% satisfaction for strategists. So if you put strategists in all the five positions and get missions, you'll get five support from merchants as bonus. If you spread them out, you get different ones depending on what they are. Uh, you also get uh, personal satisfaction to that character uh, for completing it. Uh, they want us to assign character to Grand Director. Uh, we're probably not going to do that unless we see another really, really good character that we want to use. Right, Guan Yu's out of commission for a while. Uh, let's see, let's see. Alright, mainly, uh, I think. Hiring Sima Yi is good. I think we'll just wrap up this episode. Uh, it's kind of a shame we didn't finish the two battles, but uh, running short on time, we don't have time to actually fight two battles. Um, we'll jump back in. Uh, kind of happy that we got Sima Yi. That's, that's a good end to the episode. Uh, so that wraps it up. Uh, hope you guys stay tuned for next episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching again. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And uh, have a nice day. Bye.